What's going on guys? Thank y'all so much for checking into another shop update video. Of course, building my dream shop here. So for this video, we're just gonna reframe in this bathroom. We're gonna put some really cool barn wood um, on the side of it. And then start building my big old workbench. It's gonna go all along through here. Stay tuned. All right guys, let's get into it. First off, my lips are super chapped. So please just try to ignore that. It doesn't really dry out here, getting pretty cold and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, we gotta just reframe in this bathroom. Since the last video, I pulled out the toilet that was there, pulled out the sink, got a nice utility sink, and get a new, new toilet to put in there. And then I went ahead and I pulled out all this junk along this side, put in new wood, painted it. It came out beautiful, it looks awesome. Got my light put back up. So that's really it guys. Yeah, gonna reframe in that. And then I went and bought a ton of barn wood for some projects outside. I'll go over that in another video, maybe. But I pulled out a bunch of short stuff here that we're gonna use to side the side of the bathroom. It's gonna look so, so cool, guys. So let's get into it. All right, just super quick. I will show you all, all this barn wood I got. None of y'all probably care whatsoever, but I think it's really cool. Uh, somebody I know tore down a bunch of barns and, he get, and I bought some of the wood and then he gave me a bunch of other wood. I'm actually gonna build a barn out on the other side of the shop here. So that'll be another video here at some point. Sorry, it's really dark. But yeah, tons and tons of wood, but that'll be for another video. Look how good this came out. I am just overwhelmed. I just love old rustic like barn wood and stuff. And I think this just came out absolutely gorgeous. And even that last piece ended up being the exact right size up there, which is just so cool. Didn't have to rip any boards to get it to fit perfectly. So overall guys, just so impressed with this, very happy. So having this done allows me to build my workbench, which, which would be the next thing. And then want to get a new toilet. I'll put that in there while it's open and a little bit easier probably. And then I'll frame the rest of this in and I'm gonna build a door for right there and whatnot, but no rush on that. Now let's get to the workbench. So eight foot two by fours at Lowe's are like really expensive. They're like seven bucks a piece, which adds up super quick. So actually my dad's a general contractor and at one of his jobs, they are tearing out a wall. So I went over there and got all the scrap two by fours. So this saved me a ton of money, guys. If you can find somebody who's, you know, tearing out a wall or something, go get the scrap two by fours. You will just save so, so much money. So now I have a bunch of free wood. I do have to go through and pull out all the nails and whatnot, especially all this stuff. Gotta pull all these apart and pull out the nails, but that is so much better than going and spending $7 a two by four. So really excited about this. Let's go ahead and start working on this year workbench. And the frame for this first part of the workbench is done, guys. Now, the workbench is probably gonna extend out to there, so once we replace that, we will extend it. But for now, we'll at least have a little section that'll be nice and solid so we can get to work on just, you know, doing and putting stuff here. So now I gotta figure out uh, what kind of material I'm gonna put down. Probably just put plywood on the bottom one, but on the top one, not exactly sure I do on something a little nicer. Maybe I'll get the really nice sanded plywood or, or just something. Not 100% sure, but I will figure that out.
guys got this section of the workbench done still need to put plywood down there but i went out and got the real nice stuff for up here uh, this system is just real nice and smooth and they already had an extra piece over here from a box i had built so figured that would be the stuff to go with it was like 53 bucks for a single sheet so again not cheap but it is super smooth and uh, nice and then i routed down the edges right here just to give it a nice look just kind of a nice you know finished uh look and make it a little bit smoother so it's not like a sharp edge right there so overall guys looking pretty cool went ahead and quickly got this bottom part done as well guys happy to have this whole thing just finished up so we can start storing stuff there and move on now of course if you ever wanted to i could add another shelf in here or whatever but for now leaving it open just so i can fit some you know bigger boxes and whatnot down there no problem and in case y'all were wondering yes the floor is super uneven so i have that as even as, as i can get it but yeah the floor is just super uneven so not a big deal but just something to note i'm not crazy i did level it and all that but the top here is nice and level and that's what's really important so super stoked to finally have this section done guys i think that's gonna do it for this video super stoked to have that workbench done and have the uh, barn wood up on that side of the bathroom we have a new toilet in there and of course our utility sink so here soon we'll hook those up and then we can finish that wall and build a door and whatnot and then we'll have the bathroom totally done and then of course eventually when we start working on the other side of the shop we're gonna build a workbench on that side too but for now I think the workshop is looking pretty good we got mostly this whole section done which is great got a ton of work to do in here a ton of videos to make for y'all as you can see we got the that uh box out of the sequoia so we'll stay tuned for that got a ton of subs sitting down there just a bunch of stuff going on for you guys so stay tuned for more videos you're gonna love the next couple that are coming up here soon so stay tuned for those guys anyway y'all have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and keep basing on